how did the Rocketman adventure start for you? I, having worked in London for 15 years, mm -hmm. um, I uh, had various connections along the way and I knew someone on Giles Martin's team at Abbey Road. When it came time to give Taryn that first piano lesson, then I, uh, uh, I was called in. <laughs> what was the most uh, important thing for you to accomplish in this movie? I think to support Taryn. Uh, yeah. oh. Elton, Elton was, Elton gave Taryn so much freedom to mm -hmm. develop this this uh, persona in his own way, and uh, that was a huge undertaking. That, as you see in the film, is you know at sometimes uh, hilariously preposterous and otherwise in terms of all of the cable wires mm -hmm. and everything else. So, so in order to you know enable something as uh, static in a way as being sat at a stool at a, at a piano and, and, and performing to 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 accommodate that kind of movement, that you know that needed a lot of kind of uh, support and. Uh, incredible effort on Terence's part. So uh, what is your biggest challenge on this on this film? I think the biggest challenge and I think in any musical film not just mm -hmm. this film is to is to make sure the songs work in the film mm -hmm. and they're not just like Urk, here's a song Urk, here's mm -hmm. a song and so it flows because you need to tell a story and in Rocketman we really try and tell the story with songs you know the songs mm -hmm. sort of move if you think about the way the songs work if anyone watches the film they, they take, they change the scenes, they move things forward. And that was the biggest challenge to get the, the songs to work in the film. So first of all, uh, it must be say, your work on this film is something unique. Because the cat, no, seriously, the clothes is, uh, is um, it's, they are like uh, the, the character, they are real character, they are part of the script. So how did the uh, uh, Rocketman adventure did start for you? I think it start, it's, for me, it starts with Dex, well, it starts with Elton, Sir Elton, mm -hmm. you know, and what an incredible performer and, you know, his clothes style was outrageous anyway. And I think, you know, he often, you know, he, he, he broke the mold of, of what rock stars should wear. Um, so that was a good starting point. Dexter, obviously the director, mm -hmm. was the next step and who's an incredible director and an incredible person who I, you will, I don't know if you've met him, but no, you, no. You're, you're, he's, he's amazing. <laughs> and you know, we, we, we from the outset wanted to create this uh, fantasy musical, mm -hmm. not a, you know, a, a, a realistic biopic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was about the real life of Elton, but at the same time, make it larger than life, almost seeing it through his sort of his drunken mm -hmm. drug taking and you yeah, know just sure yeah, yeah you know um, and um, so from my point of view I went to see Elton's archive yeah had a look at the original clothes which is incredible <laughs> um, and um, and we just wanted to create our own look but I think you know having seen the originals it meant I could take those and mm -hmm. then make them bigger and larger and more magnificent hopefully did you take something from the Elton, uh, yeah, I mean the, the exaggeratedness mm -hmm. of everything and uh, the colours and um, you know you you can't help but not mm -hmm. and you know I searched the internet and looked on the internet and 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 so you know you you absorb you absorb everything that you see about him um, that the stage and his and his everyday wear as well mm -hmm. which is just as important mm -hmm. um, but yeah I took I took everything and 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 then just sort of blew it up into this. But not the original piece? No. no. Okay, no. so you recreate everything? Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. So I seen the movie in Cannes and I immediately felt in love with it. And I want to know, um, what was your first reaction when they told you you will be the director of Elton John's movie? Hmm? <laughs> um, Something huge. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'd been kind of pursuing it. I'd been sort of mm -hmm. chasing it. When I heard that the, the idea was from Matthew Bourne, I heard, um, who produced Eddie the Eagle, mm -hmm. which is a film I'd made with Taron before, when he phoned me and said, it's Taron as Elton John in an R-rated musical, I was like, this is just a genius idea. So I really wanted to, mm -hmm. to be a part of that. And so when when that call finally came, and I, and I went and met David, Elton's husband, and mm -hmm. sat and talked with him about my ideas after reading the script, and then I got a call to go and have lunch with Elton. Um, I thought, okay, this is my moment, this is it. And so I was really excited and I went with Giles to uh, Las Vegas where Elton was performing. Mm -hmm. And we were meant to have lunch with Elton for an hour. 
and we sat for four hours <laughs> until eventually Elton said, oh, I've got to go to work. And he, and he had to go and have do a concert. He had a concert to perform. So I thought, okay, this is going really well. Um, so I was always excited right from the beginning, very excited, yeah. Um, what is the biggest challenge for you in a movie like Rocketman? Um, I suppose it's to to keep surprising people, you know, keep keep it fresh and keep it exciting and keep it uh, surprising so that each number is different but engaging and it's not just sort of another song. That mm -hmm. Each song is has a really important place in the story and the evolution of the character and, and telling us something about how they feel and how they're evolving and how they're growing and, and, and where their emotional state is. So that that's that's certainly a big challenge. I think that's a challenge of any film, but uh, but also you have someone like Elton who people, he's so iconic for people and they love him so much uh, that I, I don't want to disrespect what people's mm -hmm. feelings are, but at the same time, I don't want to just do this sort of very uh, closed version mm -hmm. of that. I want something that is mm -hmm. like Elton, something extraordinary and bursts out and surprising and wonderful. So there's lots of challenges. So you didn't feel any fear or sense of responsibility, nothing? I did, but, but that's at night when you lay in bed like this and you go, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. But there's no time for that when you go to work. Okay. You have to, that's, that's for when you're alone. So everybody say uh, Elton should give so much freedom yeah. in this movie. Yeah. With you as well? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's who he is. You know, he he wants the film to be a creative and artistic mm -hmm. endeavor. I don't, and I think that uh, there's restrictions, of course, from mm -hmm. uh, the making of a film. Anyway, there's you know, if there was like endless pots of money, I could you know go on and on and make mm -hmm. this incredible. But there's not. There's there's a limited amount of money. There's a limited amount of time. There's you know, all sorts of restrictions on it. And I think creatively what Elton, where that freedom comes from is Elton understands that in order to express yourself, to express the story, to use the music, to use his life in a way that is exciting and different, that he has to say, ask me anything. The first thing when I sat for that lunch with him, he said, ask me anything. So I did, you know, I said, okay, what's the most difficult question I you can say. ask? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so I, I did, and uh, and I think that that's sort of like the general kind of view of the film is to be brave and daring.